From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Greg D. watching your forecast. We'll get to him in a second. We're on Stormwatch again. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines on this primary election day. We start with other news. Police arresting a St. Pete woman for murder. This comes after officers discovered a man's body inside an apartment last week. 24-year-old Rhiannon Spicer was charged with second-degree murder. Video here showing her being booked into jail after she turned herself into police. According to arrest documents, Spicer had a domestic relationship with the victim, Larry Jarrell. His body was found last night at the Casa Grande Apartments with stab wounds. Police arrested Spicer last month for domestic battery. According to the arrest documents, the victim re recorded video of Spicer slapping him. A judge issued a no contact order. Spicer remains in the Pinellas County Jail this morning. If you're in a domestic violence situation or know somebody who is, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash DV for local resources that can help you. An update on a deadly 4th of July shooting now in Winter Haven that left a 26 year old man dead. Police announcing yesterday they arrested a suspect last week. Bernard Footman is charged with second degree murder for killing Demetric Brown. Now we're not going to be showing Footman's mugshot because he's in jail and not a threat to the community. Police say he got into an argument with another group and then got a weapon from a truck and fired into the crowd. The suspect was the victim's great uncle. Winter Haven's police chief says several witnesses identified Footman as the shooter. CP police searching for a suspect this morning. One week after a body was found on fire in an alley, the victim has been identified now as 31 year old Heather Olmstead. Her body found in that alley of Emerson Avenue South. Anybody who knows about Olmstead's whereabouts leading up to her death or has information regarding this investigation is asked to call the St. Pete Police Department. This morning, opening statements are set in the trial of a Tampa man charged with kidnapping his estranged wife and keeping her captive for two days. Prosecutors say that Trevor Summers plotted to kill his wife and then himself in March of 2017. He's going to represent himself during the trial. Jury selection happened yesterday after years of delays, mostly attributed to Summers firing several attorneys and getting a change of judges. And election day is here. Top of the ballot here on this primary election day, the gubernatorial race between Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed and Congressman Charlie Crist. Polls show that Crist winning the race, but Freed says she's not given up. Both candidates were in the Bay Area yesterday for one final push to get votes. Freed, a lifelong Democrat. In fact, she's the only Democrat that's won in a state election since 2015. She's hoping that'll give her the win today. Chris has already been governor of Florida one time before, from 07 to 2011. He was a Republican at the time. He says now that he, not Freed, has a better chance of beating Governor DeSantis in November, but ultimately it comes down to the voters. And if Freed wins and she goes on to beat DeSantis, she would become Florida's first female governor. Greg D has a look at your forecast now. Uh, definitely going to be a little tricky trying to cast your vote in the afternoon and evening. Hi there, everybody, as we're watching some pop up thunderstorms today, briefly into the low 90s. But notice how quickly the temperature falls back into the 80s, and that's because uh, there will be numerous storms popping up. And even if the rain doesn't pop up over your house in your neighborhood, there'll likely be some gusty winds coming in from the storm nearby, cooling you off. And then it's just a cloud cover that'll spread across the region that'll help to keep the temperatures more manageable. That is certainly good news. Just remember, if you are getting out there to vote after maybe two or three o'clock, bring that umbrella with you just in case as the rain chances will be about 60%. You can always track the storms in the ABC Action News app or download the Storm Shield app for a live look at the radar. James. All right, thank you, Greg. Remember to get your news and all your election day coverage right here on ABC Action News Plus all day long.